Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to learn about a duality of Bluebeam Review that involves the Length and Dimension tools. Let's start off by using the Length tool. I think it's more common to use this tool, and it measures relatively. Obviously, we need to have a scale in order to use the length tool first. So you can see on the bottom right side of my screen, I do have a scale already. So when I go to use this tool, here's the shortcut for it. And if you don't have it at the top of your screen, you can go to the tools drop down, mouse over measure, and see it right here. Then when we use the tool, you'll see that as I measure, I'm essentially going to see that the number for the measurement is going to change as I extend the length. Now, funnily enough, it usually doesn't show a number when the length is too small or when you're too zoomed out. So you just need to stretch this out as much as you need to. And whenever you're ready, you can just click. And there is your length measurement. Now, this measurement pre-populates this number automatically based on our scale. So if we do move the length measurement into a viewport, for example, there happens to be a viewport on the upper right side right here. And it is invisible right now, but it will display itself once you try to make a new measurement. This is why some people have seen entire documents that turn blue, because viewports from other programs are detected by Bluebeam Review and basically override the pages scale. Anyway, I've already covered that in our measurement tutorial. So when I move this length measurement into this, this uh, viewport right here, it changes completely. Now it's a five foot measurement instead of 33 feet. And then if I move it back outside of the viewport, now it's going back and using the pages scale. The viewport scale happens to be, if we go to our viewport manager right here, three quarters of an inch equals a foot. So it's very different from the one eighth of an inch equals a foot that our page is using. So that's the length tool in a nutshell. We can customize a bit about how it looks. For example, we can show a label here. So I have the label baseboard found in properties right here. And that's about it. You cannot change this number here. And I'm making a big point about that because now we're going to demonstrate the beauty of the dimension tool. The dimension tool can be found originally by going to the tools dropdown and mousing over markup instead of measure. It's actually not a measuring tool, it's a markup tool, and here it is. We can see the icon for it is very different from the measuring tool icon, and I actually have it as a shortcut right there. So this is the length tool, and this is the dimension tool. This is a big duality of Bluebeam Review because they're actually very similar to each other. However, you'll see the difference in just a second. When I initially create it though, there may not really be a big difference, especially if I get nefarious and I type 33 feet dash seven space three eighths inch. Not bad, right? And then I can just press the escape key. If I really wanted to, I could actually use the properties from this and make this look exactly like the dimension tool. So I'm just gonna use the format painter and there we go. I'm just missing the label. So why don't I just get rid of it quickly just to really simulate what this looks like. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen, we essentially have a tool that looks just like another tool if you wanted it to. Now, there are some settings that can be changed, of course, amongst both of them. So if I select the dimension tool, I can go here and I've already changed my default tools to have the architectural uh, tick as its start and end. And I've done the same for the length tool. And I can also change, of course, their font. And you can see that as I sw swap over between them, there really isn't much of a difference between the settings, except for one thing that's really changing in the property section here. And that is next to show caption, we cannot click on edit because basically the caption in this case for the dimension tool is the text. While for the length tool, the caption itself, yes, it is the text, but we can actually show more data. We can actually calculate the depth and wall area, and of course, display a label as well. If I scroll all the way to the top in properties, you'll also notice that labels are available for the length tool, but the dimension tool does not have label accessible. Only measuring tools have labels accessible to them, not markups, and the dimension tool is a markup. And that's the big difference between these two tools. But what's beautiful about the dimension tool is that we can literally type anything. So I can double click on the tool and type anything. Just like I typed the exact dimension that we already have on the screen, I can also type text in the dimension tool. So the dimension tool is quite useful as a markup and it does function similarly to the length tool, but it is not a relative tool that changes based on its length, for example. So this one will and this one will not because as I change this, 
the text just keeps itself centered on the tool. And that's essentially the big differences between the length tool and the dimension tool. Thanks very much for watching our tutorial on the dimension and length tools and their duality in Bluebeam Review. Once again, my name is Ari, and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.